I was gonna say chiller font. I'm like, nope, not chiller font. You know this story. There you go. Also, I just realized this is our first movie with Daniel Radcliffe. That is true. Oh, and James McAvoy, who is. I've been with the circus for as long as I could remember. Like, I have a major man crush on him. Like, to me, he's one of the most handsome men I've ever seen. <laughs> like, he. Yes. He is mine. I, I forgot. He is mine, and yours is Michael Fassbender. Yeah. <laughs> Which and both of them are in the the X Men remakes, which I think is even funnier. Yeah, I just come. Yeah, now that you mentioned that, I have a huge cru I have a huge crush on crush on um, Charles Xavier. What well, you got it for Magneto? Magneto. Yeah. And if and if this was a cause, I'll probably I'll probably go with Xavier anyway. You probably agree with Magneto, poet. right? Because Magneto's a poet. Yeah, right. Xavier, right? Isn't she some act? Some I know she's some actress, but isn't she some, <laughs> some kind of like Not a fucking clue. going to be big actress? <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? When I wasn't performing, I served as the company's doctor. I became fascinated by the science of medicine. Oh god, did they name? Okay, did they name Igor? Is that a thing? Yeah, he's Igor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, which leads which leads us to the first bit of interesting trivia. Oh, here we go. Uh, now that you mentioned Igor, the twist fight that this movie puts on the classic tale that it is told from Igor's perspective. Mm. Right? However, Igor does, doesn't appear in the original novel Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. That's nice. That is a nice one. Oh, you know, I wish oh. I saw Daniel Radcliffe oh. act more. Yeah, not, maybe not, not. That's why I don't knock on him. Like he has an act. Like, no, no. You want to see me, him just because I because I. You see something in him. Yeah, because I've seen him in the. <laughs> yes. Because I've seen him in the Harry Potter movies, and I, I thought he was gonna know. Like mm. I, I liked his performances, but I always wondered like, oh, can he do something outside of that? But yeah, because uh, I've only seen Daniel Radcliffe in this Swiss Army Man. And I think something else that I can't remember, and he, he's like he's he's usually enjoyable, but the movies themselves are like don't really give him much to work with. What about Swiss Army Man? His uh, one that you know, a dead it, corpse. You know that's hard to say. Why? Because I you you better be cautious. They're talking about Swiss Army yeah, Man yeah, to me. So Not, oh, oh, so audience can know this Swiss Army Man is just, honestly one of my favorite movies ever made in general, and I'm not. A, I'm not trying to like uh, what's what's the word? Uh, not not trying to be um. What's, what's the word? No! No, like... Oh, you sounded very surprised. The the crunch was really mm. good. That's like of her hitting the ground or the yeah. Uh, oh god, she can't breathe. She she can't breathe. I don't know what to do. Previous injuries. Uh, she broke um, her arm a year or so ago and had a collarbone word? sometime before that. Collarbone is rebroken, shoulder's dislocated, causing pressure on the lung. She can't breathe. I think she looks pretty. That's a nice. Um, like old school type of thing? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, you know what this feels like? It's like it's, it almost reminds you of like the Downey Jr. Sherlock. No, yeah. It kind of has that bit. Sir, 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 please. May I know your name? Okay, I don't like that thing right there. Oh, so go back to Swiss Army Man. The thing I love about it is. Um, I can't. I couldn't think of the correct term of why exactly, or the, how how much more I can talk positively about it. Mm -hmm. Besides that, that movie was just a critical part in my life in general, mm -hmm. and in my filmmaking, I guess, quote unquote, career. Yeah, I, I don't. It's not really a career yet, but yeah. Right, but that that's more of what I mean. I could say that, and Christian can easily understand what I mean. But for the audience, I know it's gonna be hard to fully understand what exactly I mean. Everybody has that one movie that make them change the whole concept of filmmaking. Or something changed in their it, mind. It changed, like, it, it changed your view on filmmaking, like what could be done with cinema. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's that movie that comes right at the right moment in your life. It's the exact perfect moment that, for whatever reason, you can always go back and you just remember that time. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost like in a vacuum that you can always hold on to that. Those feelings that are never gone for that film. Like, they're always there. And yeah, I think everybody has that one favorite movie where it's just like, yeah, these movies are good, but it doesn't compare to this. Mm -hmm. like, this is cinema. This is what, you know, the whole art is. This is it where it is. This is where you get it. Mm -hmm. I think everybody has that as one of those. Mm -hmm. You know, in your case, it's much more than just a favorite film. Like, it, it is the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Next order of business. <laughs> this is going to hurt just a little bit. <laughs> As I said, said something, you know, poetic. You know, so. 
It's gonna be a... Not a real one, anyway. No, you have an abscess causing a fluid pocket, a rather large fluid sac. It hurts! It hurts! Yes, I imagine it does. So <laughs> you'd be surprised how often I hear that. <laughs> So. <laughs> I'm going to you. Yeah. A human being with a spinal deformity is locked up against his will. Wait, isn't that... That's Moriarty. Speaking yeah, Moriarty. Yeah, Moriarty. He is a fantastic actor. In Moriarty or just in general? Uh, uh, well, I love... Like, in in Chile. Like, when, when, once it's revealed to Moriarty, I'm like, I love you! They make their escape urgently, as they must. Eagle. <laughs> All right, sorry, right? Igor! Igor! <laughs> it is funny because he is British. <laughs> it is. Yeah, he looks like a schoolboy. Taller. Which is taller. He could pass off as effeminate. Like, he could... Yeah! Yeah. Like, which in a, show, which, show more of his... <clears throat> in show a, more of his different acting. And a knock on him, but just like... Oh, like I kind of want to see him do like, a, a, like something like... With that. Hence the construction of this device. The Lazarus Fork. I found <laughs> Lazarus Pits. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if, Ma if that's and that was the inspiration for this too, because Max Anand is a big comic book fan. Well, the Lazarus thing is like an old timey thing. That's oh, really? Is. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay, interesting. I wonder how many people even. Yeah, know I, that. I, I, yeah, I didn't know that until like because I only know it from Batman. Oh, that was look at that CG electricity, right? Look at that. But it'd be nice if they could. If they could some way conduct real one but like not make it dangerous that the one uh, it, yeah it's bad you know what it didn't look bad at, when it was just going back and forth it was just that ball of light that looked kind of weird yeah the ocular motor nerves you haven't connected them properly and that's why they don't move evenly you <laughs> you could totally make homoerotic fan fiction with this oh easily <laughs> oh absolutely you know what's, what's, what's the most like one of the most disturbing things, you the peep, you could easily make more of it when he still had the hump. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Come on, do it, Potter. Do it. Do what? Use magic? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, my my spine isn't the only thing that's erect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What? Erect in top. Oh, erect. That, that's the other term. Like erect means like straight. Yeah, I didn't know that. So you're trying to remember, or he's like, oh, he's the ugly man that saved my life before. Now he's handsome, right? Yeah. Sorry, I thought I recognized you. Well, you you might do. I don't remember your name. Well, I never had one. <laughs> the light hitting him. I always hate when they when we. <laughs> That bit. It's you. The it's clown. <laughs> Why do you look so handsome now so I could talk to you? Yeah, right. You were so ugly before I didn't I didn't I never acknowledged you do. Yeah, let's count people. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, yeah. world. That's what she that girl looks familiar, can uh can... Alright, let's let's see what she's from. Uh, uh, what's her name? The, the character? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's Well she's the only girl in this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it should it shouldn't oh. be too hard to find. Oh and um I I have a name now. I am Eagle. Well, shit! I think I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about to learn why why she looks so familiar. <laughs> I knew she looked familiar, and I knew and I knew I knew why she looks so pretty. She was in something else, a TV show from 2011. I think you liked the first season only. Episode called Fif 15 Million Merits." Black Mirror. Black Mirror. The episode when they're training and they have to sing. Huh? Remember, um, um, the main guy, D Daniel, um, the guy from, um, Get Out. Get Out. Yeah. He has a crush on the girl. Oh, the girl that goes into porn. She's the girl. Oh, okay. No, the, the one that's forced. Yeah, forced into porn. Yeah. Yeah. He's a forced into porn, right? Peer pressured, more like it. Yeah. yeah, but like the really cute, pretty girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when I think I told you that, or did, I think I told you that when they showed her, I, uh, I was thinking like, wow, she's so cute and pretty. Yeah. And then they acknowledge it in the show. And like, oh, that's why they, that's why they they hired her because like the not, not hired her, but they got someone who look who looks like that because they even acknowledge like, wow, you really yeah. came really pretty, like take off your clothes or whatever. Yeah, get yeah, that's her. 
Oh, okay. I, I want to say, when that happened to her, when before the episode was over and that happened to her, I'm like, no, I liked her. I really liked her. That she, they forced her to be in a porn. What is that? I know that's a real Holy. thing, though. What? A practical effects. Spine, brain, all your work. Oh. Oh. Without you, in fact. It's it's like he's an evil like it's like his evil plan just came just came to reality, right? As your assistant, you go try not to be quite so dim. <laughs> From this day forth, you are to be my partner. <laughs> Come on, we're just <laughs> begging for it. Okay, so out of this, um, would so would you think of James just James Franco, James McAvoy's portrayal of Victor Frankenstein or like his thing here? Like for me, it feels like a little bit of, of Sherlock Holmes. Particularly, this is he's very eccentric. I think, but I yeah. think this more with more due to McAvoy's performance than the actual oh, that's dialogue. Yeah. Lines of dialogue. On with it. I thought it was really larger for a second. <laughs> no, yes or no? Like in a suit with her her hair in the back. Yeah, especially when she had that short hair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Coach, wait. Fact, Igor, is it ready? They're staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you, would you, I think at this point, you agree with me, right? That the best part of this movie is their chemistry? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I would like to see them in, in another movie. Yeah, together, yeah, yeah. like, just like, yeah, so, something better. Yeah. You in three, two, one, life. Bing! Bang! Boom. What have you got next? A guy's just like, this is my thing. I'm gonna chew the hell out of it. Here's my movement. Here's my stick. Right? It's, it's like he's just doing them himself. He's like he's trying to out McAvoy McAvoy. Yeah. <laughs> They're more slowly. Now he's moving more. Yeah. That's all you need. I, I, I like the little bubbling sound. Yeah. The, there's a subtlety. Yeah. Control! We made progress! We made progress! Sorry. Like, it's essentially rotting. Like, one uh -huh. step and it breaks his fucking ankle or something like that. Mm. You built that. Yes! I apologize. <laughs> With that. It's like, we're gonna have some. We want, I want. I that, yeah, that was very. Right. Right. So, this guy seems younger than James McAvoy. There's homoerotic undertones in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why my cousins didn't like it. <laughs> Perfectly frank. Brilliant. Brilliant. Quite beyond my own ability to comprehend. Of course, you're rich now. Just like right, Jason McAvoy's thinking, like, that's right, you fucking. There's a whole lot more I'm a beside. More. But that would take considerable resource. Kiss them. As you are aware, I do come from the third richest family in England. That's right. Come on, they're about to make yeah, out. Come, come on. on. It's a make out scene. So we have Igor jealous. Somebody's got to fuck in this movie. Yeah. A man. A thinking. Intelligent being. Can we discuss this? I like this ambition. You were right. So, what's this then? Finnegan's project. Finnegan? <laughs> my man. Did you say my man? Yes. It's going to be the modern Prometheus. The modern Prometheus. My man. Is it gay if a, a man creates another man? Depends if the person lo loves that. No, because no, no, I, I was just thinking that now, like, he, like... I don't think so. Like, anytime people create, it's always, you know, of their own sex. But if you, then I realized, like, if you put someone of the opposite sex, it comes off as creepy. Oh yeah, it does come out creepy. Like, you, like you made a woman. Yeah. Where are you? But if he makes a man, like, oh, we think nothing of it. That's oh yeah, that's true. I didn't think and about I, it. I always wonder, like, so if you're gonna put something like why, is, like, why have it? Why may it have a sex? Like, right. mm -hmm. that's that's fair. And it's just like the one person. I forgive you, Igor. I forgive you this remarkable lack of foresight. So stay here. Your brother was with you. Ah, uh, I remember now. You remember or no? Is nope. You want to hear it? About, yes. Okay. You want to stop other people from having to endure that pain that you felt. <laughs> no. 
No. Yeah, you got it wrong. It's like, fuck. I love, I love how, like, he, he, <laughs> it feels like he's kind of evil. Yeah. Right? I love that. It's just his acting. It's about so much more than that. Don't you see, to my mind, I took my brother's life that night. And this was the commentary track for Victor Frankenstein for 2015 alongside Eagle.